Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to recover files in a crash for Inkscape. As of right now, this will apply to all Inkscape versions for Inkscape 1.0 and above. Before I get into that, guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can also visit my Inkscape tutorials dedicated page on my website for more Inkscape video tutorials and help articles. All right, so here I am inside of Inkscape. This is a pretty cut and dry tutorial, so let's dive right in here. So Inkscape does have an auto save feature, which means it is working in the background to make sure your files are saved as you go in case Inkscape crashes. And unfortunately, Inkscape is kind of on the unstable side, so so it tends to crash especially during longer sessions but you can view where your Inkscape files are being auto saved by going to edit preferences and you're going to see some drop downs here it'll probably look like this for you guys at first but under input slash output if you click to expand that at the very bottom you'll see there's an option here called auto save and it should be enabled by default. If not, just make sure you check enable auto save. You'll probably have to close down Inkscape and reopen it if it's not already enabled. But you're gonna see this is the auto save directory and you do have to stick with this directory as of right now. I did try to change it myself. All that happened was Inkscape crashed and basically said there was an error. And the next time I opened up Inkscape, it did not change. So this is the default auto save directory. Interval in minutes is just going to be how often this is going to auto save. I have this set at one minute for right now, just for demonstration purposes, uh, just so I had some auto saves stacked up in the auto save folder. I don't recommend going with one though. I recommend if you want to make sure this auto saves often, you can go with something like every five minutes, or if you're not as concerned, you can go with every 10 minutes. And then you have the maximum number of auto saves. So this will take up space on your computer every time it auto saves a file. So if you have a pretty limited amount of space, you can minimize the number of auto saves, maybe go with something like five. Or if you don't care, you can go with something like 10 or 100, as I just did there. Uh, but I'll just go with 10. So let's come up top to the auto save directory itself. I'll click on this address and hit control A and then control C to copy this. And now if I open up a file explorer window and I come over here to the address bar and I hit control V to paste and then hit the enter key, it's going to take you to the auto save folder. A quick thing I wanna note about this, so if you just opened up Inkscape and have a brand new composition open and Inkscape hasn't had a chance to auto save anything yet, if you were to copy this autosave directory and paste it here in the address bar, you'll probably receive a message, something like an error that this file location doesn't exist. This is a temporary file, so it will not exist unless you've already started working in Inkscape a little bit and then some autosaves have started piling up. So if you do get that error message, it just simply means it hasn't had a chance to autosave anything yet. And if you wanted to see what this looks like, I can right click go to open with and come over here to Inkscape. And this was an auto save from something else I was working on, a different composition. So there you can see it just opens this up as an SVG file here in Inkscape. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.